but like I said, that why we are doing this today is to commemorate the 70 years of the organization and to launch and disseminate our SWAC's initiative three year strategic plan with you all because we know that we can't do this all alone and we are working with partners and stakeholders would ensure us achieve our goal, even as an organization. And then um, right now, which is like the participants um, introduction and I've been able to read out to you the meeting objectives and why we're here today. So um, it's going to be an awesome one. I just want you all to keep calm, keep cool, because yes, we are swag, not just by word, but yes, we, we, we've got all the swag that we have to give to you, that we keep offering you every day, you know, not just in this meeting, but even out there. So um, after that, we'll be having goodwill messages. And then after which we'll just uh, take you through the journey so far from seven years till now. And after that is the moment we've all been waiting for, yeah, the launch of the strategic document, uh, which just takes you through what we have done. And we just want to give it out there to everyone to see that um, this is the plan for the future and not just for our future, for the, for the future of every girl in the world to be able to make informed choices and decisions. And after which we just want to hear from you, commitments and your reaction to these documents. And after that, the paparazzi is going to start, you know, take all the pictures. It's going to be like an after party. It's, it's a virtual party anyways. <laughs> yeah. So you should expect uh, the launch and all, all of it in your uh, emails and all that. So thank you so much, everybody. I would like to um, call on uh, my colleague, Ethel. By the way, I did not tell you my name. I was so excited. <laughs> my name is Mercy Bolaji, and I work as a program coordinator for Stand With A Girl Initiative. So thank you so much. I would like to hand over to my colleague, Ethel, who is going to take the next item on our agenda. So kindly uh, put on your name, um, click on the link on the chat box and it takes you to, to just want to get your information. Thank you so much. See ya. <laughs> thank you, Mercy. Wow. I'm so excited about today. Mercy, I'm yeah. sure you're excited. Yes, I am. Swag at seven, no be being so. Is really, really a journey, and we are grateful to God for the journey so far. God has been faithful, the achievements, the successes. Wow, mercy! Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> been awesome, really. So, um, we'll be moving on to our goodwill messages, and we'll be calling on a member of Swag Girl Advisory Board. I don't know if she's um online. So we have some of our representatives from different organizations that will be taking the goodwill messages. So we'll start with a member of Swag Girl Advisory Board. I don't know, is Yossi online? Yossi, are you online? Is she online? No, she is. I can't see her. So Yossi, over to you. Yossi, if I can see you online, but I don't know if um I Yossi, can you hear us? If you can, kindly you unmute yourself and um you know give us your goodwill message. Okay, so while we wait. While Wait for you. See. Uh, so we'll move on to a um, um, representative from Federal Ministry of Health, um, Dr. Amina. So, Dr. Amina, over to you. Okay. Good morning, all. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, yes we, can. we all can hear you. Okay. Um, from the ministry. I bring greeting from my director, Dr. John Ovurai, and um, my head of the uh, department, Dr. Bola Alonge. They send their greetings 
and they are happy to align with what SWAG initiative is doing here today. So it is with great pleasure that the ministry extend our sincere congratulations to SWAG initiative team as you celebrate your seventh year of making a positive impact on the lives of girls in Nigeria. Your dedication to promoting a safe and supportive environment for healthy development of girls in Nigeria through empowerment is commendable. Your efforts to implement various activities with rural and urban slum marginalized adolescent girls is in line with the mandate of the ministry. And these are truly inspiring. By promoting poor sexual and reproductive health information and services, you are helping to break down barriers and empowering girls to take control of their lives and futures. The launch of your three-year strategic plan is a testament to your commitment to ensuring that every girl in Nigeria, no matter where she is born or found, is empowered to fulfill her maximum potential. As you mark this important milestone, we urge you to continue your great work and remain steadfast in your commitment to empowering girls in Nigeria. We are confident that your efforts will continue to make a positive impact on the lives of girls and ultimately to the development of Nigeria as a whole. Finally, we are aligned with what you're doing and we wish you a successful launch. Thank you and over. Thank you, Dr. Amina, and thank you for standing in from the ministry and from the organization. We truly appreciate how the ministry has been of support and collaboration when it comes to what we do as an organization. We don't take it for granted. Thank you so much, Dr. Amina. So we Oh, move... sorry, I, I didn't I didn't see your message or that I should show video. Sorry. But I think that's taking you <laughs> my voice. Yeah, we had the beautiful <laughs> voice. Yes. Maybe when we want to take pictures later, then we can then see your face if you are yeah. still no in problem. No problem. Thank you, ma. Thank you so mm. much, Dr. Amina. So we move on to um is Yossi available now? Okay, so while we wait for Yossi, we'll move on to a representative from the UN agency. We have a So can um, Fortune, Fortune, are you available to give a good will message? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, good afternoon. Uh, everyone, and uh, on behalf of the representatives of UNFPA, Madam Ola Elizabeth, uh, with a massive smile, we would like to say massive, massive congratulations to SWAG. Uh, you've done so well, and we've worked together with your people for a very long time. Um, of course, wishing the life, the young people from different areas, the IDPs, schools, blind schools, and all that. I would like to say thank you. And we'd like to say that well done and we'll continue working. Hopefully we'll continue building the relationship and collaboration with you people. Keep the good work, keep the hard work. Um, they usually say there's like in every struggle. As you guys continue working hard, you never know where SWAG will reach or how many people you people are reaching with information. So um, congratulations once again. And hopefully in 20 years time, we'll be ruling the world. No more Nigeria, but around the world, you'll be hearing swag all over the world. So yeah. keep the hard work and well done. Yeah. Thank you, um, Fortune. And you. We, we look forward to a global impact and international impact. You guys will hear from us, we are moving. We are moving. <laughs> so we move um, on to the next um, representative and 
that's from the CSOs. So we are calling on um, representative from um, EVA, Education as a Vaccine. So do we have any of their representative here? Um, faithful, faithful, can you um, give a goodwill message from EVA? Hello, faithful. Can you hear me? Okay, so I, I think we already have Yossi. Okay, yeah. so while we wait um, on EVA, Yossi, are you available now? Yossi, can you hear us? She's going. She's going. She's going. Okay. So we'll move to the next um activity. Why they come online? You we'll also hear their goodwill messages. So I don't know wherever you are. The next um activity is swag success stories. So if you have your cup of tea, if you have anything to sip, you can take that. Why we take you to the journey. So we'll be playing a video on SWAT key achievements. So sit back and enjoy the process with us. Okay, uh, thank you so much for waiting back. Um, the girl from the from from Stand is Road Initiative Girl Advisory Board is um, trying to join, and we would love to hear from her. A good will say while well, that is going on, I would just like to just uh, quickly take us through a short video clip. And uh, yeah, thank you. Hey. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm sure you enjoyed the video. You know, um, seven years cannot just be said in seven minutes. It's it's been a long journey uh, in part, and we cannot contain all of this in just seven minutes. But we hope that you're able to, you know, get uh, this. So thank you so much, everyone. And uh, let's go back to I don't know if Yossi is here. 
if your sis is here, I think she can take a goodwill message. If not, we'll just move on to um, the next item on our agenda. And the next item on our agenda is um, the overview of the SWAG initiative three year strategic plan and the launch, of course, because like we, I mentioned earlier that in this event we would say a lot of things about when the society invests in girls, everyone wins, not just as a cliche, but or because we want to have a motto as an organization, but because this is what we want to do. And so uh, permit me to welcome the executive director of Stand With the Girl Initiative, and she would be taking us through this um, awesome moment. Uh, we count it an awesome moment because uh, this set the pace for the future, especially for girls. Can we put our hands together for Margaret Bolaji, Ali Bola, the executive director of Stand With the Girl Initiative, and she takes us through the swag you know, three years strategic plan. Over to you, Ma. Oh, okay, thank you so very much, Mercy. Can you guys see me? Yes, we can see you. Oh, I can't can see, see myself. Well, I'm, I'm glad you can see me. Okay. Uh, kindly mute uh, whoever is not speaking. We just really ask that you help us do this. Let me start on the note of appreciation. There's still going to be a of thanks, but honestly, I mean, I don't know how I can move on without first saying thank you to everyone. And usually I would start with the girls. I mean, they are just why we're doing all that we're doing. And we have to say thank you to them. And to also say a very big thank you to all of our partners, our funders. I mean, you guys are the VV, VV, VV MPs because without your support, we wouldn't have come this far. And of course, I'm always grateful to God for the opportunity and the privilege to dream and be able to bring the dream to, to fruition. And just, I think Ethel mentioned, we've only just begun. So let's get to uh, an overview of our, uh, of our plan, the strategic plan. Okay, uh, can you all see my screen? Yes, we can. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. What about now? Okay, so let's begin with SWAC. I mean, Stand with a Girl Initiative. As you all are very much aware, we registered youth-led organization. This is one part of us that we're really proud of and to always mention that uh, every one of us are uh, largely, most of us, if not all of us, are below age 35. So according to Nigerian constitution of 18 to 35 as youths, of course, we know that the policy, youth policy also uh, proposes uh, 29, I mean, 15 to 29. Well, however, given what the constitution say, we pride ourselves in being a youth-led organization which is non-profit registered with Corporate Affairs Commission. And we actually registered in March, precisely 1st of March, 2016. And our core values, I mean, this is really the lens with which we do all that we do, the lens with which we see all that we do, uh, integrity, leadership, service, and empathy. Uh, our key objectives, uh, to empower girls to make informed choices about their education, health, and development. So it's not enough that we throw at girls' education, good as that is, or we throw at them health and even development. We desire that they make an informed choice about it. So they have the information and they're able to make a decision based on an informed decision. Uh, an inform, uh, from an informed perspective, rather. We also work towards reducing maternal and infant death. We increase girls' potential to meaningfully engage. Messi, kindly mute uh, those who are not speaking. So I know at times it might not be our fault. We just find ourselves. Uh,
Okay, so we increase girls' potential to meaningfully engage in economic and political activities. So for us as SWAG, girls are at the center of all that we do, and we ensure that those girls are able to make uh, decisions, but by also empowering them, giving them the needed skills that they need to be able to do so. We also increase the focus, really shine a spotlight on adolescent health, especially sexual and reproductive health and rights at all levels in the country and even beyond through our regional and uh, international uh, uh, collaboration with other partners. Lastly, uh, our objective is to support members of the community in meeting their education, health, and empower needs. So as organization, we are girl-centered, but also importantly, we are community-centered. So we don't just dump ideas at people's feet. Rather, we work with the community, we support the community to uh, chat the way forward to say this is what we want so in essence we can say that we are an organization that work with and for the community uh, now it was important for us from last year we started the conversation around developing a strategic plan and with the strategic plan we wanted something that would take us to the next level we needed to articulate our mandate. We needed to revamp our strategic focus. Where are we going? Where is the direction? We needed to redefine it. We work with adolescent girls and women and young women, and we know that day in, day out, there are emerging issues. And it was important that we are reaching them, also taking cognizance of this important issue. We also needed to proactively and creatively cope with anticipated changes, whether it's internal or external uh, issues that we, some will call it risks. So it was important for us to say, yes, while we want to have that goal, no matter where she's born or found, achieve her full potential globally, uh, nationally, subnationally, we also can close our eyes to some things around that might hinder that process. So it was important to sit, evaluate, and really say, what is the way forward? How do we mitigate those risks? We also had to provide a result-based framework against which SWAG success or otherwise will be measured over the period. So for us as an organization, we are evidence-based and data-driven. So it was important that data continue to contribute or shape the direction that we go, even as we continue to hear from the community members. And lastly, it was important to have a document, a plan, which we can use to engage you all, our partners, our collaborators, and also see ways that we can uh, really take this work uh, further for a greater impact. So what, uh, as, as part of the things that we work on, we had to develop a new vision statement. Interestingly, it's not so much, uh, I mean, different from what it used to be. Uh, the only difference is this time we were thinking globally, even as we continue to put in local action. So in the past, we had every girl, no matter where she's born or found in Nigeria, is empowered to fulfill a maximum potential. But we took that out not because we are no longer passionate about every girl in Nigeria, but because we also see SWAG beyond Nigeria, the impact that we make. And I mean, even those girls, as they are being empowered, they continue to interact with their counterparts in other countries globally. And it was important to see beyond Nigeria, how is SWAG also supporting the, the, the agenda for girls globally. For our new mission, it is again to promote a safe and supportive environment for social, economic, academic, and healthy development of girls. And we still maintain our key, our core values, which are integrity, leadership, service, and empathy. We had uh, our key thematic areas, which are not so much, I mean, we had to fine tune but they are not too much away from what 
used to be or what they used to be in the past. One is girl child education, another is empowerment. And we know that empowerment can be so good. So specifically, we have life skills, employment so linking goals to employment so it's not enough to have education how do we also bridge that gap that they're able to get employed or be employer of labor also looking at economic empowerment as we continue to support girls and young women with capital to start up their businesses to revamp their businesses also information on business management and what have you and lastly but not the least, because this is also very critical, it's adolescent sexual and reproductive health and rights. And of course, our key partners, you might want to regard them as beneficiaries, but we're particular about using the word partners or right holders because they shape all that we do. Of course, the adolescent girls, the boys as well, because we do engage men and boys, uh, we have, you all, if you're from international non-governmental organization or uh, civil society organization, the community-based organization, faith-based organization, private sector, the academia, the multilateral, bilateral, and other foundation, the teachers, the parents, all of these are key partners as we continue to support the girls. Overall, our goal between this year, 20 is a three year uh, strategic plan. So between 2023 to 2025, we're looking at increasing by 20% access of girls to education, health, and empowerment program driven by girls and optimally contributing to their well being and development. So it is important that this. All of those ideas we're sharing, our goal, it's driven by girls themselves. Uh, the program areas, like I've, I've mentioned, one of which is adolescent and youth sexual and reproductive health, but particular focus are uh, family planning, sexual and gender-based violence, female genital mutilation, family life and HIV education, child marriage, and et cetera. At the end of the day, what do we want to see with regards to adolescent and youth sexual and reproductive health? It's an increased access to sexual and reproductive health information and services by adolescent and youth in the country. Uh, with regards to empowerment, our focus areas are digital life skills training, safe spaces, we're going to be focusing on having safe space, both physical and virtual for girls, business grants and management, internship and fellowship. So also in our bids to ensure that uh, the approach also includes a positive uh, development approach. We're going to be linking those girls, not just keeping them in school, but linking them up for internship as well as fellowship. And the outcome from our empowerment program area is to increase number of adolescent girls empowered to make informed decisions regarding their lives and negotiate actions that affect them in the country. And lastly is education, particularly girl child enrollment, retention, and also transitioning, as well as teachers training, smart advocacy, and STEM. So it's important that we're seeing more girls in STEM and science, technology, uh, engineering, and mathematics. And at the end of the day, we're looking at an increased number of enrollments and retention of girls in school by at least 100, 150,000 in the country, whether we're looking at the North Central, West, and uh, Northeast. What strategies do we deploy in, able, in being able to reach all of those outcomes? One is partnership, and that's why you all are extremely important. We'll continue to partner with different stakeholders to ensure we bring this to fruition. Community engagement, it's very key that we continue our vision in meetings, our for ownership and sustainability. We definitely must meaningfully engage the community. Capacity building, so either it's for staff in uh, SWAG or the community that we work with, so they're able to take ownership of their own life. Media campaign, 
and we will be deploying both the traditional and social media. While we know some persons or some girls have access to social media, we know some are in rural communities and you probably might only be able to reach them through radio, television, and what have you. Advocacy, and I would say smart advocacy, it's uh, we'll continue to uh, look at policy reform, policy implementation, policy review to ensure that girls have access to education, health and development. Research and communication, strategic communication would ensure that uh, we're also uh, continue to be that organization that is driven by research and also uh, data in all the decisions that we, 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 we make, as well as learning really quickly and adapting when necessary. Virtual safe spaces. So we'll continue to engage with girls in spaces where they're able to say exactly what the issues are, what they want. They then begin to design for us what they want to see and ask us those those tough questions and have experts respond to them so it can continue to shape the world uh, that we, we do. Last year, while we celebrated our sixth year anniversary, we were able to inaugurate the Girl Adversary Board. And I'm sure in between now, uh, during this uh, program, you get to hear from UC. UC is one of the girls who is on the uh, Girl Adversary Board. We're hoping to expand it moving forward. And uh, Messi, kindly, Messi at all, kindly mute. Uh, I don't know who is speaking. And then as we draw to a close, walking us through, uh, we will share this uh, strategic plan with you, the SWAG strategic plan after the launch. Uh, you should receive it later by Friday with a thank you note and the recording of this uh, event. But uh, you should expect to see about 77 pages, except it goes, for, I mean, it will be less than 80 pages. And uh, what you should look out for is the forward, the acknowledgement, but importantly now the background and introduction, the context and operating environment of SWAG, our strategic options for growth, SWAG programs and strategies, our organization governance and management structure, as well as analysis of possible assumptions and risk factors. So those are the key components of what you would find when you open our, our strategic plan document. And at this point, I just reflecting, I mean, it's been seven years, I mean, seven years of impact. Of course, we know there's still much more impact, but we're really excited to have come this far. We're so grateful to all the girls that have walked this way with us. We're grateful for the impact, the results, the outcomes that we continue to see every day. Girls taking up, owning up their spaces and beginning to make decisions for themselves that helps their life, help them to uh, achieve their full potentials. But importantly, and in line with our vision is that more than ever before, it's no longer matter whether it girl is born in urban community or a rural urban slum rather or rural community that she's able to dream and not just dream she's able to achieve our dreams we still have a long way to go if you look at some indicators they are quite worrisome when you look at out of school children and then now zeroing it to girls they're still quite worrisome and even the number of adolescent and youth that have access to sexual and reproductive information and services but we know that so much has been done in the past as you saw even from the overview of our results so far. We just want to say thank you and to say we're super excited that we're seven. Seven also stands for perfection and we're looking forward to a perfect year. I mean, perfect not because there won't be flaws, perfect because girls will be able to dream. Perfect because girls will be safe in school. Perfect because girls will be safe at home, on the streets, in the streets. And importantly, that we'll be able to reach girls in all their diversity, whether they're girls with disabilities, they're girls in school, out of school, they're girls who are mothers, 
girls will appear, I mean, in all their diversity, will continue to co-create with them for that future that they want to. And girls can just say, oh, I choose to be a baker and that's fine. I choose to be a doctor. I choose to be an artist. I want to fly the plane. I want to be, go to the moon. I mean, girls can dream and this dream can come to pass. Thank you so much, our partners, for how far you've come and cheers to bigger, impactful partnership ahead. Thank you so much. And at this point, I'll hand up, I would hand over to my team as I officially launch our 2023 to 2025 strategic plan for Stand With a Girl initiative. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so much, Ma. That was such an amazing session, breaking it down in such a simple way. And if you're excited, please join us. You know, send a reaction. We're so excited to see how much work can be done, how much girls' life will be impacted. Please put up an emoji. Let's be happy together. This is a great feat. Yes, it's hard work, but it's something that can be done and will be done. Um, thank you so much, Ma, for the breakdown again. Um, now we'll be moving on to listening from you. One of the major things we spoke about is how partnership is a key part of our strategy. And we know that we gathered everyone here today so that we can listen to you, learn from you, and hopefully even together commit to doing this work and making it a real thing. So right now, we just want to put it, if you have a question, just raise up your hand and then we can take a question, a question or two. So we don't want to take so much of your time. And then we'll listen to get if you have a reaction, a reflection, or even a commitment, which is very important to us. So if there are questions, please raise up your hand. If there are commitments, if there is reflection, please, we want to hear from you. Okay. Is there anyone? I think if you are having any difficulty, you can just unmute and speak. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good I have just put up an emoji um, just because uh, I have another meeting. I just want to I celebrate Swag. I celebrate Bola G. I met her some years back and I can testify to her consistency in this space of um, empowering the girl child. I'm actually proud. I'm proud of the work you do. And um, even you, Messi, I've been seeing your post and all that you do. I'm just so glad that when young people just set out their mind, so it's not the case of the Nigerian, lazy Nigerian youth anymore, but that you guys are changing that status quo. And I'm proud of the fact that you're even thinking ahead and making more strategic plans. So I just want to say kudos. And like, uh, I think, is it the UNFPA woman that said that be looking beyond Nigeria now is global. And I can say, I see SWAT going global. Thank you so much. And God bless you all for all that you do. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. That was so heartwarming. We're so grateful. Um, yes, is there anyone else? Please, let's not be shy. Let's speak up. <laughs> We're here to share together. Okay, so um, Actually, please, I'm going to I'm going for another meeting. I just want to say thank you for having us from the ministry angle. And um we always look forward to working with you and we thank you for all the support you have been giving us from since the inauguration, even beyond the review of our policy, the inauguration of our TWG and commemoration of International Adolescent Health Week. You people have been doing great work. We appreciate you and we align with whatever you're doing. And the ministry is always here for, for you to work with and um, move the agenda of young people forward. Thank you and over. Thank you so much, Ma. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm sure that yeah, some of you also want to speak. Okay, we have Yossi here. Okay. Uh, Yossi, uh, can you go ahead if you can hear us? Um, Yossi is a member of the Girl Advisory Board and would like to hear from her. 
Uh, I think she just left again. The network has really been difficult for her trying to uh, do that. Okay, um, yeah. I will wait for her. Yeah. yeah, we have a hand up. Please, you can unmute yourself and kindly speak. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ramatu Adel Chakri and the founder of Shades of Us. I, I was particularly happy to see swag come up to this place that they are now um swag has grown completely beyond what we have imagined and the reach has been so great and it's been such a pleasure to partner with you in some of the projects that you have done and we would like to say as an organization shades of us is committed to the long haul we are your partners for life uh, we love the work that you do with women and girls we especially love that you're inclusive of boys too we see how necessary it is to educate um, young people. And when we educate young people, when we educate girls who are marginalized, we open up our world for greater opportunities than we can ever imagine. So we celebrate you today. Congratulations. We will be with you, as I said, uh, as partners for a lifetime. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, we're so grateful. We're so excited here. Um, we look forward to working with you, Shades of Us, as well. It's been a pleasure so far, and we can't wait to do more work with you. Um, so because we have fast spent the time, what we'll do is that please, by Friday, we'll be sending out um, a thank you with a link to the strategic document. The conversation is not over. It's ongoing. Right. So please, if you have any commitment, any comment, any, whatever it is, kindly share with us. We are open. We are always, always happy to listen to our partners and co-stakeholders in ensuring that girls have access to education, sexual and reproductive health and empowerment. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you so much. I know that but, um, Yossi is uh, struggling with network, but I, I hope that we would be able to hear from her because it's also important. She is the girl right now, and she she just we just want to hear from her, uh, you know, what she feels about the documents and how it's going to better the lives of girls out there. But uh, while we do that, I would like to call on the EOT chairman. Please, if you're not speaking, kindly uh, mute yourself. Okay, thank you so much for doing that. Oh, Yossi is up. Yossi, can we hear uh, you speak? Hello, Yossi. Hi. Uh, okay, so um, I, I would like to invite, while Yossi is trying to figure out a, a network, I would like to invite the Chairman BOC in the uh, impressing of Mr. Ali Bolade, who is going to go through the, the vote of thanks. Yes. Oh, I just, oh, yes. Someone just spoke now. I want to know if that was Yossi. I think that was Aisha. Okay. So, Aisha, yes, please kindly um, unmute yourself and let's hear you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Can That's you hear me? Yes, yes we, we can. can hear you, Aisha. Okay. Um, I just really want to say congratulations to SWAG and congratulations to each and every one of us. It has been a great journey um, watching how we have grown as an organization. And most importantly, I love, I love, love that SWAG continues to walk the talk in you know, um, addressing issues that concerns um, young girls and particularly putting the girls in front, you know, allowing the girls to lead and, you know, um, you know, working the talk that young people are the leaders of today, not even tomorrow, they are leaders for now. So thank you, Swag, for being the lead and putting young people out there, especially our girls. And we'll be back here to celebrate even 50 years together. And I see SWAG going international in the next couple of years. Congratulations to all of us. Oh, 
Thank you so much, Aisha. I was so grateful for you and all that you've shared. We can't wait for 50 years. It's going to be mega. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we also have Adi Mola's hand up. Um, yes. 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 Just quickly take that. So you can um, unmute so yourself I, and um, speak yes. Okay, I've unmuted myself. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, we can. can. Oh, that's what. All right. Yes, my name is okay. My name is Ademola Adini from Oyo State Primary Health Care Board. Uh, I'm the adolescent health desk officer. I want to appreciate you. Although I came very late, I joined around to twelve. I saw that people have not yet joined. So before I can join again, it's already past twelve. So I'd like to appreciate uh, Swag Initiative, the initiative that you brought to our state. It has been a very wonderful uh, thing indeed. We are leveraging on most of the things that you came to do here, and we hope for more partnership in coming years, hopefully. Thank you very much, and God bless. Yes. All right, thank you so much. We're so glad to hear that. Um, It's very important for us to see that the work we do goes beyond just even the projects that people take ownership and they're working on it and building on it. So that means so much to us as an organization. Thank you so much. Um, I think over to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the over. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I, I would like to call on the uh, BOT chairman in person of Mr. Adi Moladie to take the vote of thanks. We know that you all have you know, other things to do. The conversation doesn't end here. We can continue the conversation, what you feel about the strategic plan. So I would like to call him as he, you know, takes the next item on the agenda, which is the vote of thanks. Yes, we'll come to the end. It's as short as that. You know, we are swag now. You don't want to waste your time because you have other things to do. So uh, over to you, sir. Kindly unmute yourself and let's hear you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's see uh, I really appreciate that part of our prayers about 50 years to come, Aisha. Thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, so on behalf of our SWAG's Board of Trustees, I want to appreciate our deepest gratitude to our funders and donors. Uh, we deeply appreciate your, 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 your support, uh, you know, trust. Uh, uh, I, 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 I want to say this way that uh, the trust you have extended to us for collaborating with us uh, in implementing projects, you know, trust is uh, the most valuable commodity and we have only come this far because of the trust you have in us, of which uh, we do not take it for granted at all. Uh, to our partners and our key stakeholders, uh, at national level, state and uh, community level, who through collaborative efforts have provided you know, technical assistance, access, support and opportunities uh, to make impact on a large scale. We are grateful and uh, we intend to leverage on our relationship for a greater work. We are grateful to those who generously have made time to share their knowledge, to share their insight and uh, experience in the process of developing this uh, strategic plan. Uh, our profound gratitude also goes to you know, our consultant, Ms. Uh, Ibidu Adini, for her resourcefulness, for your devotion and technical expertise in drafting and reviewing this strategic plan. Uh, sincerely, from the depth of our hearts, we are so grateful to you. Uh, we strongly commend and appreciate the SWAG initiative management and staff led by our own dear Margaret. Thank you so much, Margaret. We are so proud of you. Uh, for every work for the initiative for all that you have done, we are so grateful and indeed proud, proud of you. Uh, we also want to Thank every member of staff. You are the hands and the, the, the foot of this organization for exhibiting this 
uh, great hard work, your passion and accountability. We do not take this for granted at all. And uh, for each and every one of us who have made it, a date for attending this uh, launch, thank you. We sincerely appreciate your commitment and uh, your being here today. We say cheers to an impactful partnership and collaboration. Thank you so much. We sincerely appreciate you. Okay. Um, thank you very much, sir, for the wonderful vote of thanks. Um, cheers to you know many more years of impact, like you had said, with everybody, because there might never be us without you, and especially the girls. And that's why we do what we do. So thank you so much, everyone. And I we've come to the end of it, but I am sure by now you know that I'm 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 so in love to to want to hear from Yossi. So even amidst the network issues, I still want to hear from her. And I think our network is balanced now. If not, we could, uh, you know, just turn on our videos. And you'll see if you can hear me and um, your network is a bit stable, can we just hear from you? I'm sure everybody would have known your name today because I've called your name like, you know, 20 times in this meeting. So yes, over to you, you'll see, before we end the meeting. Thank you. Um, Hi, hello everyone. I'm so sorry, I really apologize for my network. I don't really know what happened this time around, but um, a quick one. I really want to appreciate the Stand with a Girl Child Initiative for the great opportunity. It's really, really it's of the Girl Advisory Board and to be a member of the and also, I want to say a big congratulations to ATIB and the happy seventh year anniversary to start with the Girl Child Initiative. To our co founder, Mrs. Margaret Bolaji, congratulations, happy anniversary to all the team members, all the staff to stand with the Girl Child Initiative. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for letting us as girls know that we have a voice. Thank you for helping us to advocate and then our voice for our voice to be heard all over. Nigeria and then the world. Thank you for the opportunity. It's really an honor. And then we really appreciate you for your efforts, for your passion, for the girls, for your enthusiasm. In fact, we are really so proud of you and we're excited to have known you. And then we're really excited about the opportunity given unto us to stand out and then to do what even we, if it if if we were, we would what we think we will not be able to achieve. And then through this um, initiative, we sure have achieved so many and a lot of things. Thank you for letting us know that we are the leaders of tomorrow, leaders for even from today. We really <laughs> appreciate your efforts and then we pray for many useful and productive years to do more and more to be known all over Nigeria's large. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless Mrs. Mazas for the bless every cheers to and every one of us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Yossi. Finally, we heard what Yossi had to say. Thank you for joining us. And Yossi is a member, like we said, she's a member of the Girl Advisory Board of Stand with a God Initiative. And um, we're excited that, you know, uh, the girls are also keen into this vision for us because it's, it's basically for them. And we're excited that um, they are owning up to this. So thank you so much, Yossi. Uh, in the absence of nothing, like we said, this is not the, uh, the end of the conversation. So we could take it up from there. But because before we go, before we end this meeting, would like you all to turn on your videos if yeah. you can dance dance it's a, it's <laughs> so turn on your videos oh yeah it's a party uh we're going to send you the you know the the virtual lunch i mean lunch l u n c h <laughs> if you can receive it via emails no problem but that's fine so <laughs> so we want to take a picture and then we'll just uh Let's see your faces now. Ah ah ah! Now wow! Beautiful people. Oh yeah, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh.
Yeah. Can we have all the team members yeah. talk here, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Yeah, let the party begin. Yes, the party is up. <laughs> Give us the music. <laughs> No, <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh, okay, go here for Yeah, How are you, Jay? So, uh, hi, everyone. Okay, I, I know that you, you've been enjoying the jams from this office. You can feel it. We, you know, it's it's an awesome time, and we'd like to appreciate you once again. So thank you so much. If you still want to stay to enjoy our, you know, our paparazzi, no wahala, you can stay. Back. <laughs> you can stay back. But we really truly appreciate you, and thank you so much for joining us. Bye. <laughs> okay, so. I <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Thank you so much for an amazing uh, 